Good morning everyone. Brokerage Free invites you to the market views update for 26th March 2018. This update also includes a weekly analysis for March 24th 2018. Let's begin. We have some important points from the last week. US federal bank meetings and announcements took place and uh, there was a 0.25% increase in the interest rate. There were trade tariffs and import duty fears uh, because of uh, President Trump's statements. Markets have been in round end which have been influenced by the above mentioned points. We have uh, predicted these points uh, even in our previous sessions. The downtrend resulted in about rupees 3.9 lakh crores investor wealth being eroded during this time the u.s markets and the japanese index dropped by about five percent nifty for the first time has closed below 10,000 points since october 2017 nifty had hit a high of 11,171.55 points on january 29 2018 since hitting the high, Nifty has corrected about 10.5%. If you look at this graph, you can notice that uh, Nifty had crossed Nifty had crossed 10,000 on October 2018, 2017, and uh, it has gone up and down, and uh, eventually scaling a new high on January 29th 2018 since hitting the peak in in the end of January nifty has now touched 10,000 again um, public sector banks are not attractive these days because of the following points they have a lot of non-performing assets bad loans and a host of financial scandals coming out Nirav Modi, Vikram Kotari of the Rotomark Fans, Kanish Gold having defrauded State Bank of India for about like 850 crores. If you look at this graph, you can notice that State Bank has dropped from uh, a price of about 350 to about 230, which means that State Bank has lost its value about one third. The stock markets in India are uh, in a bearish mode presently. Upside moment for the Indian stock markets was lost in January 2018. Since then, the markets never seem to have recovered. Bearish trend has been uh, in place since uh, February 2018. During this period, there has been no single week where the markets ended on a positive note for the last eight weeks. In this period, about 15.8 lakh crores of investor wealth has been eroded. Bears continue to rule the Indian markets. The impact of this bearish trend can be seen in both the mid cap and small cap sectors. The mid, the mid cap sector went down roughly by about 15% during this time since January 29, 2018. The small cap sector went down by about 20% during this time. For the week ahead, these are the following points from our side. Uh, please pursue a wait and watch approach, find the direction of the market and then uh, enter into your trading positions. Uh, a slight upside may be possible. A nifty may hover around the range of 10,070 to 10,250. As nifty keeps moving higher and higher, uh, there will be a lot of selling pressure and it might start a downside again. The chances of market recovery in the near short term seems to be slim. Nifty may also touch about 9950 points or slip a little bit further as well. In this time period, mutual fund investors and SIP plans are the beneficiaries because they continue to invest even when the stock markets are down. During this time, a stock specific approach will help. Please pick your stocks wisely, invest in very good stocks only. Stocks from government companies and banks are uh, best left away for the time being. 
So thank you for watching this update. Uh, this is Ravi Singodan uh, bringing you uh, this update and uh, uh, I do not hold any of the stocks that we have presented in the update today. Thank you.